Hi, David Taylor or Mr. Pelagonium, back with another video. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, it's going to be all about standards. I've been promising a video about standards. Uh, so let's have a look. Today I am going to do this sort of uh, promise video about standards, but I am going to incorporate a video uh, about potting on this giant thing here. I will probably run that first, I'll run that now, and we can then have a little review of where the plum is at this stage, because I potted this on uh, probably a month ago now, I will check the date, actually the 3rd of June I potted this on. Um, so, you know, it's, it's well over a month now that this has been in here and the head is really beginning to form. But first of all, I will run the video when I repotted it. So let's have a look at that first. Right, now as I've done in my introduction, I'm actually going today to pot on this huge, great standard that I've been growing over the winter. You've seen me do a few clips about it in the past, so we're going to get this into a really big pot today. Um, it's currently in a 7-inch plastic pot. Now, this is going to have a very, very big, heavy head on it, and it is now going to go up to a 12-inch clay pot. This weighs quite a bit, and the primary reason is because this plant, once it gets a big head on it, is going to be very, very heavy and very, very top heavy in that. And realistically, there is no other, there is no way you could use a plastic pot for that. Uh, you may be able to use a substantial plastic pot, but I prefer to put mine in a clay pot. Right, so I've just honed in now. Now, I originally said I was going to let this break here run to form the head, but I've changed my mind and I'm going to let the head run from the top here because there's a relatively short joint here and we've got a side sh side shoot beginning to come out there on this same side strangely but i think this will form a better head because the uh, the length of this intersection is much shorter so i'm going to take this one out and that's the first thing i'm going to do and i'm just going to cut this through Oh, that's fine. Now, I will, I will, I'm going to let this bloom run, actually, because um, I just want to see what the bloom looks like. I did see it at Fibrex the other day because they've got this plant on trial of Steve Pollard's. I think it's a pure white with lovely spots and splashes of quite deep purple, uh, and I think it looks really nice. So um, there we are with that. I've just taken that side shoot out there. Now what I'm also going to do as part of this is take the is change over the central stick. There's a one meter stick in it at the moment, and I'm going to change it to a, a larger uh, central stem stick. If we put it there, set up to the same level. It's about a foot or 30 centimeters taller than the current stick. And that will surround the head, basically. So the head will form around the top part of this stick, which is what you will need, because this head on this plant is going to end up being very heavy because it's a basic zonal. I'm actually going to just take off these reddened leaves. We've got a couple of them there. There's a lot of leaf now, certainly from halfway up, so there's enough to support it. It's always the same with standards, ensure to keep the plant growing well, you keep plenty of leaves on it. But I've taken the red ones off because they're effectively dead and dying anyway. Um, we've got a slight tip over here, so I'm actually going to initially just cut this string here. I've actually done that quite tight. I think I was trying to get it bent over a bit. But I'm not actually going to take the stick out at this point. I'm going to basically repot the plant first at a basic level. Uh, and then we'll take the stick out secondly. Because if we took it out now, we'd just have the, the very, you know, the stem exposed. Uh, and it's possible it may sort of wobble a bit and things like that. But we don't want that at this stage. So I'm going to get it in this new pot before I replace the stick. 
Okay, so we've got the pot up. Um, we're basically ready now to knock this out of uh, this pot. Now this was done back in towards the end of February, March, April, May. So it, it's just over three months that it's been in this pot and it's grown like wildfire. Just ease it out. There we go. Uh, there we are, I've knocked that out. Um, very healthy root ball, no bugs or anything, no problems at all with this. Clean as a whistle, um, absolutely clean. That is what you call a healthy root system. Um, absolutely perfect. Uh, I will just loosen that marginally. It is dry. I do like to pot my plants when they're a bit drier because as I've always said, I like my roots to be on the dry side so that they're anxious then to get out into the new compost quickly. That's the way that I've always done it. Well, there we are then. So I've got some scoops here ready to go. Obviously, this is quite a big jump from a seven inch plastic pot up to a 12 inch clay pot. The key things that I will do is that it's not going to get a lot of watering initially, primarily because it's a big jump. I want those roots just to go out uh, and there'll be a little bit of moisture. There's obviously quite a bit of moisture in the compost that I've just recently made. There will be a difference, of course, because in a clay pot, I always water from the top. It's a bit different to plastic where I water in sources from the bottom. Uh, so this could get slightly different treatment. Uh, I've got a little bit of clay, uh, broken clay pot in the bottom, just to seal the big hole that there is in a clay pot. Uh, and there we are. So we'll load up. I want this to be very much at the top of the uh, standard to be or the top of the compost rather, the base of the standard to be more or less flush level with the top of the pot. So I'm putting in quite a bit of, uh, of, of uh, compost in here, but this will be quite happy in here for certainly the rest of the year. Um, I won't need to pot this on again. It'll grow very fast in this. Shouldn't be a monumental number of blooms because of course it's not going to get pot bound till probably the end of the summer. Right, okay, so hopefully we've got enough room. So I'm just sitting that on, that's perfect. Uh, there we are, yep, that's where I would want it. Uh, always put the stem in the middle. Uh, the standard stick will be just to one side. But the main stem should be in the middle of the, uh, of the pot. It's going to take quite a bit of compost all together. I'm left-handed, you see, so I've got to go to where my left hand is falling. Always making sure it's nice and square. We will now do one drop. I've got enough room there. Uh, that's just to make the, um, the infill around the edges is obviously going to be a lot looser than the main compost of the standard. So that's going to drop and that's what that has done now. Just continue to make sure it's nice and square. This is an old clay pot, but it was thoroughly clean before I bought it in. Okay, so that's relatively firm now. The next thing we want to do, I'm going to take off now some of these strings. Uh, that's the first thing I'll do before we sort of re completely re-stick re it. So I'm going to take all the strings off, apart from the middle one. No other thing. So I've left one string in just to hold it on. Let's get this down on the floor where we can change the stick. Right, now it's stick change time again now. I've just got the string. Right, and here's the new big boy. Now this should be able to hold this with no problem at all. Now, the challenge for me is getting this down through, hopefully I've got enough room, um, all the different leaves. I think we should be able to do it without too many problems. Just have a look, yeah, there we go, and that's going in the same hole. So I've just basically got to re-tie this now all the way down through. Um, I'm hopeful I'm going to be able to lift this into place. Obviously, because I was rising above and have now pushed down, 
I'm hopeful that I can get back on the desk. So let's have a look to see. I think I had a, a foot of clearance here above the old stick. Oh. Yes, we did. Brilliant. Let's reset the camera. Right, okay, so a little look round. That is dead plum, I would say. Uh, look at it that way, it's dead plum. I, I've, I have to say I've done pretty well. Sometimes I can be very wayward, but um, this one is doing is doing brilliantly. Okay, that's fully down. Um, we ran it down, didn't we? So now I've got to just cut off a load of new strings. Probably going to need four or five. Uh, now you want them tightish, but not over tight. Uh, it's always a slightly awkward one. I mean, as a standard goes, uh, sorry, as a standard grows, the um, the stem, of course, is going to grow as well. So you need to leave. You want it tight, but not so tight that it can't move. All I'm doing is just a simple knot tie. It's nothing. I mean, I'm tying in this string. Nothing too heavy weight. So that's all quite nice. You want to try and get it so that it's all on the same line. Now we've got the issue of this sort of sort of bent over head. See how this is bent over. Uh, we need to try and attract this back if we can. So that needs to be sort of pulled in there, which is where the head is going to form. The head is going to form with this part the main stem and the side shoe that's coming out. Now I haven't had a standard this tall in quite a number of years actually. Um, not since my nursery days. I had one of Phyllis, uh, which was a, one of my favorite standards. It was, it was a really, really good plant. Well, I've tied that in. That one. I've had some big regals. I mean, we've seen a, a big regal that I used to have uh, in my old glass house that I did bring here, but it got a bit unwieldy. And in the end, some regals can get a little bit woody in the main head. And in the end, they're very difficult to break through. So yeah, that one went, but I have grown some really quite big ones in the past. So in terms of this plant, I mean, we're, we're virtually there. I've got a couple of dips on the compost, which I'll just top up. Uh, I will move this now over to this corner here. It's about the only place that I can um, I can have it. I've got that huge sort of hanging pot. That goes right where the camera is, so I've had to take it off. That's why that's on the floor. The key thing now, I, it is pretty dry. You can tell by the but these bottom limp, uh, the bottom leaves are rather limp. Um, but I will give it a little bit of water. I'm not going to give it a lot because I've done a lot of cutting out. Don't want it to bleed. But we've definitely got quite a close jointed break at the head here. I'm sure that's gonna that's where I'm gonna form the head. I mean, this is about I don't know uh, one meter twenty. This the top of this stick, and there we are. It is is done. Um, I'm just gonna dribble a little bit of water around the top. Not a great deal. Um, and I will leave that to sort of dry out and make sure all the wounds are healed before I give it a perhaps a little bit more um, water. But because of the fact that it's been so over potted, I will go really careful with the watering, certainly in the first month or so um, of it being repotted, because I do not want, um, you know, I do not want to risk over watering it in this uh, i mean it, it's okay now we're, we're into summer and it's quite warm so uh, there shouldn't be too many issues but you do have to be a little bit careful so there we are we've repotted this giant standard um yeah so hopefully uh, we'll see how that grows through the rest of the season right yeah so there we go um that was how we pot it i mean it is just this scenario where if you're going to get a really big standard like this will become, uh, you do need a very, very heavy pot to help support it because when this develops a full head, which will probably end up being around sort of two foot around or 60 centimeters for those that like the metric, um, this will become so top heavy, it will be almost ridiculous. So you've got to have a big 
heavy clay pot to support the base. Now I'm just going to take the camera off and we'll just have a look at this head now. Okay, so here we are at this end. Okay, I mean these heads are huge. Uh, okay, the centre of it is just beginning to go over. But realistically, I mean, the, the heads are monstrous. But probably, again, made worse by the fact that we're having all this chronically damp weather at the moment. Uh, this bloom almost certainly needs taking out. Uh, if we go down, that's got a lovely zone, this plant as well. Uh, it's unreleased, if anybody's uh, sort of, you know, wanting to know what it is. It's one of Steve Pollard's. Uh, hybrids. Now initially what we've got to do, I've still got a lot of these base leaves on. Now some of these can begin to be taken off and you can see down here got one or two red ones so I'm just going to take those off because they're, they're dead and dying anyway. Um, so we can begin to lose these now. Got one or two side shoots just down around there beginning to break. So they can just be taken off. Uh, what else have we got? As I say, I will take that bloom off. It's difficult to do things when I'm holding the camera with one hand. So we'll just take a few more of these sort of slightly dead and dying leaves. You've got the reddening leaves, which shows you the divergence of temperatures that we've had in recent weeks. The initial thing that I'm going to do is think about balancing this off. So we've got a sort of main stem growing up one side. It's split quite evenly. This is growing so fast that the string there tying that against the support is starting to get very tight. That one's not so bad. There's another one there. That one's not so bad. But this one up here, obviously the top end of the stem has got very thick. And you need to be very careful that you don't have this so tight that it really starts to pull into the stem. There's not much lateral movement there. So I'm actually going to cut that one off. Right, there we are. I've just cut the string that's uh, tying the main stem to the support. You will see there that the string has pulled in the main stem but i'm going to leave that now because i've got this stem that is growing out here which you can see growing out there and i i don't want that to be obstructed so i'm going to leave that untied bearing in mind that i have got a slightly looser string and that string is slightly moving look um, now, the only thing then, I think, at this stage that I am going to do to this head, zoom out again, is probably cut this stem back a bit. So, we've got this longer stem growing out this way, and we've got a nice break there. You can see that break growing in there. That's a nice side shoot growing out of there. And that equates to about the same length that that stem on the other side is growing out. Now we have got a lot of side shoots going on down there. Um, so I'm more than happy to take this out at that point where we've got some nice breaks going on. And that will start to balance that head. Um, so I'm just going to do that now. Okay, so I'm going to slice this portion off. Um, I've shown you where I was going to do it. I may be able to home in, but um, I've turned the uh, the standard round just so that we can try and get an idea of what's going on. So I'm just literally taking off this side portion here up against that lovely little stem break that was going on and there we are and you can probably see from you know that head that that is now a bit more balanced that large side stem is basically equating to the one the other side which obviously hasn't grown quite as quick uh, so that's just balanced that off now to where i would want it to be at this stage now if I wanted a cutting, I've got some material there, but I have actually got another one of these. So that, I'm afraid, will just be going in the compost for now. 
So there we are, that's the head as it's developing. I've just loosened it slightly by taking that tie off. Um, I have got this lovely side shoot growing out now down the bottom, which is gonna come out this way. There are lots and lots of side breaks looking as if they're gonna come through. So, I mean, that really is as, you know, how I would want it really at this stage.